everyone, welcome back to week number three of the Mod TV Quilt Along. I bet you're like me, you're getting excited that our Mod TV block is almost together. This week is all about putting the antenna unit together and then also working on the color bar blocks that you see behind me in the quilt here in case you're making the lap size quilt. So let's get down to the cutting board right away and get started putting the antenna unit together. The first thing you're going to need to do is actually take those two larger squares and cut them in half diagonally. So we're just going to do that quickly. And you're also going to take one of the actual smaller squares and cut that in half diagonally. That will give you two triangles. We're going to put these aside for a minute because we're going to use these last. And we're going to lay out on our cutting board all the pieces, very similar to what we did when we made the leg units last week. And this will keep all of your pieces organized and together in order so that when you put this together, it'll be much easier. So there's all our pieces together for the antenna. The first thing to do is take your little antenna strip and fold it in half to create a crease. Again, very similar to the leg unit like last week. And take the right triangle and just flip it over. Start from the outside corner and go up towards that center crease just like that. And you can flip this back to look at the center crease up here. You do want to make sure that the set, this outer background triangle overlaps your antenna strip by at least an inch on top and an inch towards the bottom. So I'm going to take that over to the machine and I'm going to stitch that right now. Right, so we're back and I have now stitched on the uh, outer background triangle to the right side of my antenna unit here. I'm just going to go ahead and lop away or cut away this extra antenna to decrease all the uh, fabric and reduce the bulk in my seam allowance. And I'm going to finger press this background triangle outward just like that. The next step is to add the, its partner triangle here to the other side. So again, I'm going to flip it over at a wonky angle. I'm going to make sure, though, of two things. One, that I'm starting from the outer bottom left corner, and I'm angling my background tri triangle to the center unit of the antenna. But I'm also overlapping this other background uh, triangle over here. So I'm taking this over to the machine, and I'll stitch it, and I'll be back. So we're back at the cutting table and I've sewn on both triangles to my first antenna and I've also uh, reduced the bulk of the seam allowance by cutting away the extra fabric on the back as you can see. Now I'm going to lop off at a wonky angle this top of this antenna. So I'm just going to lay my ruler down anywhere and just slice across there removing the top of the antenna and this is where that smaller triangle comes into place. That's going to go right there on that edge and I'm going to flip it over right sides together and take that over to my machine and stitch along this longer diagonal edge. So I'll be back again in just a moment. I'm back from the sewing machine. I've now put together my first antenna block and I need to square it down to this proper size which is four inches by four inches to make the antenna unit work together. I've also taped my square ruler. This is a handy trick I do. I put some masking tape around the four inch parameter of what I'm going to be squaring this block down to. That allows my eye to actually center the antenna unit right into within that blue taped mark. So that's a little handy trick. We'll go down to the cutting board. I'll show you where to place your square ruler and you're just going to simply make this little block that you've made with the antenna in it four inches by four inches. You need to square and trim away anything extra beyond those boundaries. If your antenna is close to the four inch mark down here, you'll just want to make sure that you leave yourself a quarter inch seam allowance so when you sew this all together you won't be cutting the tip of your antenna off. So we'll just square this down. I don't have that problem with this particular one. We're going to square it down and turn it that way and make it four by four. Get rid of all that. And that's our first antenna block. So I'm going to now sew the second antenna block and then we'll be ready to put everything back together. So I'm 
back and I've got all my antenna blocks put together and I'm ready to put the entire antenna strip together in units. I have four units to put together. I'm also going to add my filler strip, which is the part that will go on top of the entire Mod TV block here. So I'm going to sew the units together first, then the strip goes on. And I'll be back in just a minute. So I've now got my antenna unit all together with the filler piece on top. And now the fun begins because I take the TV set that I made in last week's tutorial and now I'm going to place this at a wonky angle, the antenna unit, on top of the TV set. You can skew this right to left, left to right, it doesn't make any difference for the block. Just make sure you don't do the skew too extreme. It's a little bit of an offset, a little bit of wonkiness to give your TV personality. Once you decide what you like, you'll just simply flip the antenna unit right sides together and go ahead and sew along this long seam here. And there it is. I've got my TV block together. The first thing I need to do is get rid of all this extra fabric back here. So I'm simply going to take my ruler, cut away with leaving a quarter inch seam allowance or thereabouts. I'll press the seam nice and flat. And then we'll square this block down to 12 and a half by 12 and a half to finish the TV set for this week. Now that we finished our TV block, it came out really cute, I think. And we're growing our own network over here, so to speak. Now it's time to work on the color bar blocks, and these are important if you're making the lap quilt behind me because they offset all of the other mod TV blocks. We'll go down to the cutting board, and you can see the pieces here all laid out in front of me. It's a pretty simple block, but you do need to be accurate on your quarter inch seam piecing. So this is one place where we need to go back and make sure we've got a scant quarter inch when we're piecing these all together. We're going to start piecing it together, and I'll be back with you in a minute. So here's our cute color bar blocks all done and they came out great and they're very fun to do. That is it for week number three of the Mod TV Quilt Along. Next week I'm going to show you how to personalize your TV screen by adding a photo or a piece of licensed fabric or something that you can fussy cut from your stash. Until then, happy quilting everybody, keep on sewing and we'll see you here next week. <laughs>